thought I'd go through. Um, I turned 16 recently, and um, it, it's been the most drastic change I've been through in the last couple of years because now I, I am eligible to actually start driving, you know, and I am eligible to have a job for most places, you know. And it's really when you start to take a turn into preparing for adulthood because <clears throat> everything that I just stated still happens in adulthood, but you just, when you turn 16, it just starts to, like, it just hits you, it slaps you in the face, you know? So, basically, I want to talk about jobs, you know? Because jobs are a big deal. When you first turn 16, you want to make sure that, no, you don't have to, but if you are the person who wants to get as much practice and experience as possible, you probably want to start by getting a job. Um, you know, driving and stuff is important too, but not nearly as important as your future career and all. You know, you want to get that extra experience in. So a lot of people go for jobs, you know. Um, it's not easy getting into a job when you're 16, unless you're working very small first. You know, some people just jump in to something big really when they're really small. But it's always good to start small. So um, I just recently went, went in for a job interview, and I actually did really good, you know. And I feel like because of, you know, my experiences as having a job interview, as some of you haven't yet, I'm just going to go through the, some of the tips and things that probably will make it a lot easier because I got really good feedback, and they just loved me, you know, so which is really good. And I love them too, so it's all cool. Um, all right, so I think the first and most important thing is to watch more view videos on YouTube, and not just this one. But um, you definitely want to kind of take some research and ask your friends, ask your family, you know, ask, 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 you know. And secondly, it's really important if you show your dedication in what you're doing. Like, if they asked you, you know, for example, just pretend that we're in an interview right now, okay? And I'm just sitting here and I'm like, so why do you want to work at Hollister, okay? Why do you want to work at Hollister, you know? think about it, you know, it's not like the end of the world if you can't think of something right away, but make, make something that sounds significant, something that makes it more interesting, make them want you more than anyone else, you know, um, say something, for example, if I was working at Hollister, I'd probably say, well, um, I'm into retail, you know, and I think retail is a really good place to start, and I, all the people in the, in Hollister seem like, really nice people and I like the way that you know we work through like in music you know like music is everywhere I love music I love um I didn't also mention that you just want to start somewhere you know like so they don't think you know I'm in it for the money you know I mean if you're in it for the money or not you don't want to make it sound like that because that sounds really greedy you know so make it like I'm I'm here because I want to start somewhere I want to get experience in and I think this is a good place to start my life, you know? Um, so yeah, you kind of got to play around with those kinds of questions and stuff. And if you have any really good, you know, examples of things, like for example, um, I am a junior. <clears throat> I went to school early. I've been a junior all my life. Well, not a junior like that, but I mean like, that came out really wrong. Don't listen to what I just said. Um, I've been younger all my life, younger than all my friends, and, you know, just, I've been always hanging out with people who are older than me, and dating people who are older than me, and everything like that, so, um, I have had quite a challenge in my life, you know, I was actually more mature than all my friends still am, you know, um, I've had more of a challenge in school because I'm supposed to be a grade below, you know, I'm supposed to be in 10th grade, I'm, but I'm graduating next year, I'm supposed to be graduating in two years, um, but what really, um, really gets them is if you have something like that, like, if you don't, that's totally cool. There's so many other things in life, you know, that you could talk about. But, for example, if you have something like that and then more. So, for example, you know, I'm a junior and I'm going through school like no one's business, you know, but don't literally say that. But make it sound like it's a challenge, but I'm, I can handle it, you know. I'm not going to complain about it, I just go through with it. And not to mention, I'm a cheerleading captain, and I'm only a junior, and most of them are seniors, you know? So make it like, 
not only am I dedicated and not only am I hardworking and I can take a challenge, but I do not give up, you know? Like, make it sound like that because that's what they're looking for. That's exactly what they want to see in their employee, you know? <clears throat> and other things, they want to be able to trust you. They want to feel comfortable around you as you want to make, if you're working in retail specifically, or just mostly in any kind of business, you want to make the customer feel comfortable as well. You know, customer or, you know, teammate, partner, if you're a nutritionist, you're the person you're helping and everything, you know, you want to make them feel comfortable, you want them to trust you, and as well as how they want to trust you, and you want to be able to trust them as well. So you want to have good relationships and good connections, you want to be smile, bright-eyed, you know, not literally like blue eyes and stuff, bright-eyed, but I mean like just be filled, you know, with excitement and happiness and just make it seem like you want this more than anything and that you want to be around such a positive em environment and everything like that. So anyways, those are probably the best tips you could get from anywhere. And like I said earlier, watch other videos, but this is probably the best one. Anyways, see ya.